Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. We just realized the planets are ali- aligning right now. As we, that's why right? we're outside re- re- record, reporting Ooh. live. Just look up. It's windy. Hey, look up. There look it is. Up. Wait, mm. which? Where? Huh. I think we're on camera. So look at them, man. Look. Oh, no, you can't. No, we're not outside. Now we set up a studio outside yeah. the building, and if uh-huh. you uh, can just move the camera <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. Off to the east mm. uh, this morning. If you're uh, look up, looking for and, them. and to the east. <laughs> okay, Wait, and you go. see them all. Oh, there, they there they are. are. Yeah. Right here in the. St- Sorry, I told you we're reporting live nice for the job, planetary Joe. alignment. Bang! Nice job, right there. Joe. Just make out Neptune. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> well that. done. I mean, right there. Right there. Right there. Huh. Okay. <laughs> really good view of Saturn. I love that. You can see the rings really clearly. That's good. I'd forgotten that Jeffy was Jupiter. <laughs> did you? I did. Did you? I did until, until this camera shot came up. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Last week, uh, we failed to uh, complete a mm. bingo card, but... Uh, this is breaking no no law. No, there's no law. <laughs> it's kind of so, unwritten. He's so defensive I about know, the bingo is. stuff. He is. Well, what if we don't have a winner? So what? <laughs> Where does it say we have to have a winner? It doesn't. <laughs> so this week, we'll probably do two. We'll probably do two winners. Cool. Uh, but our bingo card starts out in the upper left-hand corner. When you get a bingo, you want to be the first to call, 888 and you win $30 worth of merch from padgrayshop.com and a dozen Kexi cookies. So we start in the upper left-hand corner this week with Get Off Me. <laughs> then Keith saying, This is insanity. Uh, President Cadaver <laughs> is in there. Um Turdo trying to LGDP, say uh, L- yeah. GT, LBG, LGBTQ2 so plus. Uh, is that a lifelong stuttering problem as well? <laughs> could, very maybe, well could be. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, Jeffy with business. <laughs> then we have why. Why are you gay? Are you gay? <laughs> Love him. Hey, Curly. That's usually in reference. Well, it's always in reference to Ch- KJP. Uh, <laughs> Trump. He is so full of <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Chris. Equals DEI. Oh, yeah. He's our Chris DEI. Chris equals DEI. Yeah, he's oh, our yeah. DEI, DEI higher. higher. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, man unit reference. <laughs> Jeffy mem- mentions... Uh, oh, I haven't mentioned my moomoos by Jeffy in quite some time. Not for a while. I know. Got to update that collection. Uh, you, you suck. You suck. You hate America, and you didn't win the election. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> now, this applies almost always to a trans woman. Uh, isn't she lovely? Isn't she beautiful? Because they all are so beautiful and so lovely. Uh, the police acted stupidly. The That's Cambridge police. Long uh, time ago. Acted stupidly. Yeah, did they? <laughs> wow. Did they? No. No. Uh, Keith. Not in my America. Uh, then a reference. We haven't done this one in a while. A reference to Tito, Marlon, and no, Jermaine. <laughs> Usually in a br- uh, list of brothers, Tito, Marlon, and Jermaine wind up in there somehow. Uh, Godless animals, always a reference to the University of Utah fans. <laughs> um, yeah, Matt Gates, be offended. What do you say to people who think that those comments are offensive? Be offended. No, I love that. <laughs> so good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So good. Uh, that's a damn handsome man. Oh, no. Bill Maher speaks truth yes. like this. This article is called Separating Sports by Sex Doesn't Make Sense. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the problem with the Democrats. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Keith, just spitballing here. Uh, this guy. Excuse me, it's ma'am. I mean, it woman. is ma'am. This woman. Uh, liberals eating their own. Jeffy mentioning. Oh no. I, this meant. I don't. This meant Operation Urgent Fury. I, I don't know mm-hmm. that that's going to happen because I don't even like to talk about it. But <laughs> I know okay. you don't like to bring it uh, up. Yeah, I know. I know that's true. It's a sore subject for it you. It is. You hate it those is. memories. Uh, then I mention Big Mike. Uh, should be a fun week. Don't be surprised if we fill every square. We get a bingo first and then maybe fill every single square uh, on the page. A pad out. Uh-huh. Pad out. That's good. Uh, all right. So uh, the fallout continues from the 34 guilty verdicts last week. Just unbelievable. Just really unbelievable. And then Stormy Daniels made an announcement. She broke her silence Mm. after the verdict. She'd been so silent after the verdict. Now she's broken that silence. 
She held out for a good 15, 20 minutes. It was really <laughs> strong, really powerful of her. But she has told Melania, leave him, meaning leave Donald Trump. I'm sure that's the go-ahead Melania's been waiting for, don't you think? Absolutely. <laughs> Thinking, you know what? If that lying sack porn star tells me to leave him, yeah. I'm out. I'm out. But not until that time... <laughs> It's just ridiculous. Yeah. Rich, Stormy Daniels so should probably sad. lay low since yeah. she still yeah. owes Donald Trump five hundred and sixty thousand dollars in legal fees. Wow, well, she said on the stand early. she didn't think that was fair. I don't care. She yeah, still that owes it. Doesn't no, matter. No one's above the law. That's what I keep hearing. Right. Right. <laughs> right. The only people we know that are above the law are the president and his son. Uh, they're above the law, but nobody else. Although Hunter's uh, yeah. before the judge today, right? He goes yeah. to trial today. Yeah, we'll see what happens there. And then he's we'll got see. the other one. Uh, the IRS one is in September. But yeah, right. the gun one is this week. I heard one report this morning that talked about uh, it's a possibility of 10 years in jail. Is anyone, <laughs> anyone on the planet think that Hunter Biden's going to do 10 Jeffy, years? Jeffy, no one no. is above the law. Oh, that's right. We've oh, gone over there this. There you go. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Apologize. I bet he does every minute of that, and maybe even more. Because why, Keith? Because no one no is one's above, above the, the law. law. Thank you, Jeffy. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it'd do well for you to remember that, <laughs> Jeffy, so we don't have to keep repeating it all day long. She also said, uh, "Stormy Daniels is also upset because she was slut shamed by his female lawyer." Oh, yeah. That's. I mean, here's the definition. I looked it up. Because I wanted to be sure I understood what we're talking about here. (laughs) Slut shaming means that you're stigmatizing a woman for engaging in behavior judged to be promiscuous or sexually provocative. Hmm. Let's see. If you're sleeping with another woman's husband, uh, do you deserve to be slut shamed? (laughs) Is there ever a time where slut shaming is, I don't know, appropriate? (laughs) Is it? I mean, well, you believe that she was, and she obviously claims that she did sleep with the president mm-hmm. before he was the president, but slept right. with him. Right. So, yeah. That's... Yeah. I mean, she was married. She knew he was married yeah. at the time. Uh, so, sorry. I mean, uh, you know, this porn star being <laughs> slut shamed, that's unconscionable. I don't even know how <laughs> his lawyer could dare do that. <laughs> It's just a weird term, you know, and it's a weird thing that you're not supposed to do, I guess, slut shaming, (laughs) because there's no shame for anything ever on this planet now. Plus, isn't it like if you if I'm mad that you're slut shaming me, I think Mm -hmm. I'm not a slut. Yes. Right. Yes. So. So. So you're not a uh, when you're a porn star and you have sex for money on film, Hmm? then that you're not. Guess uh, not. I, I guess. Okay. Guess not. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure this out because it's very strange that she would bring that up. Again, she might want to sit this out. I don't know. I know. What's her deal? Yeah. You just sit it out, hon. You got what you came for. Uh, congratulations. He's been convicted on 34 counts. Maybe you just be quiet right now. Although she might be angry, he's still walking around. Yeah, well, she wants him to go to jail. She wants him to get divorced. I mean, obviously, she wants the worst for him in every possible way. Uh, And so do all the Trump haters, of course. Just not a secret. Uh, So they got their wish Thursday night. Trump has been convicted. Uh, So they spent Friday gloating about it, of course. That's for sure. The hideous uh, Whoopi Goldberg (laughs) on the coven, also known as The View. Here's what she said. Welcome back. We only have about 34 seconds left, so to recap. Oh, no. No. Guilty, 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 These people are mentally ill. So what she's doing is saying it 34 times. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I get it She only had 34 seconds, so she had to say it once per second to squeeze it all in. And apparently she said more, so either there was more than 34 seconds, or she said it quicker than, quicker than that, a second yeah. each. So, yeah, so she did a great job. But that's there. funny, or she was very clever and creative. Clever. Clever. Did, I didn't right. count. You did, so. I didn't either. I didn't either. But uh, I'm just assuming she got it right. I, 
I don't know why I would. She doesn't get mm, anything that's right. That's what I mean. And uh, George Soros' son, Alex, tweeted this out about Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> Douche. Trump guilty on all counts. And Democrats uh, should refer Democrats. to Trump as a convicted felon. Yeah. Uh, every opportunity. Every, repetition is the key to a successful message. And we want people... Uh, we want people to wrestle with the notion of hiring a convicted felon for the most important job in the country. Now, do we? Okay. Thank I you. mean, thank you for that. As many have pointed out, I mean, this is all that they wanted from the get-go is yes. just to be able to call him yep. a felon. And they got it. Sadly, that's. I hate that they got it. I know. I don't know. I think it's kind of got some street cred now. You know, <laughs> we're gonna have a gangster president serving from behind bars. I'm good with that. Uh, Drudge is trying to push the narrative that 10% of Republicans are going to walk away now from him. I don't buy that. But, I mean, the Drudge Report is amazing to me in how liberal it's become. I mean, the hatred for Trump is part of it. But, man, their skew on just about everything has completely changed. It's done a 180 from where it used to be. Uh, Here's Nelson uh, Nelson Mandela meme (laughs) as a counter to that. Uh, funny, millions of people once believed an ex-convict was the best person to reform a corrupt government. And there you have it. That's great. Yeah. You like that. In fact, his party just lost Nice in though, your right? face. Yeah, yeah for the first time ever mm-hmm. since apartheid ended, uh, his party lost the majority. Yeah. I mean, and you so. talk about, I mean, that's a nation, obviously, that's in chaos, and yeah. ours is headed down the same road. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. When you I, Just this whole thing, I, I cannot get over. I just, I can't get over what happened to Trump on Thursday. Just, I mean, you've got people from the Department of Justice working with Alvin Bragg. You've got all the stuff about the judge's daughter and the judge himself. Mm -hmm. And I know you guys went over all of this, but I mean, it's just like the family connections to Adam Schiff. I mean, this is, this is third world banana Republic stuff here. By the way, how's your kidney stone doing better, worse, or about the same? It's uh, it has vacated. The not, okay, good. Yeah, good. good. It has left. It has left it, the left, building. Yeah, right. Oh, good. Okay. Kidney, is the kidney stone exam better, <laughs> or worse, or about, or about the, same? the same? Those are miserable, as yeah. everyone knows who has ever been through it and spent time at the uh, in the emergency room waiting to get through the crowd of illegal aliens so that you could be treated uh it and you're you're suffering you're in more pain than you thought humanly possible and i was the just only there one in the uh, emergency room uh, really at uh, 3 a.m oh, wow. oh that's nice um and it still took forever oh geez. Uh, but no that well, was that busy. was a worthless visit to the er uh, so i can't wait they didn't get you out of pain no nope. at least i mean they got me some meds on that yeah, yeah. and okay. then i took me two days to get rid of it oh man i don't know what the pain is this morning but i'm sure it's oh, fine i'm sure i'm good is it bad pain or is it just starting a... it's just a little uncomfortable you probably don't yeah. need yeah. any more of the painkillers though you need you mean to bring them in <laughs> yeah it's, i mean <laughs> I'll throw them away for you. You'll take care. You'll you'll deposit them for me. Thank I don't think you. you're supposed to throw them away. I think you'd take them back to a I'll do pharmacy. That. Yeah, and they you'll take you'll do that. I'll do that. That's for a you. Save them a trip to the you know, pharmacy. I mean, gas is so expensive. Uh-huh. Wow. wow, that is really generous yeah, of him, yeah, Keith. He is I care. really. I care. He's a giver. Yeah. He gives and he gives and he gi- and what do we do? We keep taking from him. We just <laughs> <laughs> we just keep taking. But that's the kind of guy uh, thank you. Uh, Jeff I mean, Fisher he's a, is. He's a pal. He's a pal. <laughs> he is. He, a friend in need. Uh-huh. He is a friend uh, indeed. Something like that. Something. I yeah. had forgotten. I had forgotten. Back to the Trump thing. I had forgotten that uh, the judge's wife had worked with Letitia James, too. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah there's so just, much here. It is so much. So I mean, much. this is insanity. Yeah. It, it, this is not my America, either. So anyway, um, mm-hmm. The, mm-hmm. obviously, obviously, what what this has shown uh, is is without beyond a shadow of a doubt, right? That the radicals yeah. in this country fear nothing more than a Donald Trump presidency. Oh, they've proven that. And, yes, and they've I, proven that. I say you got to give these American destroying demons <laughs> what they want, and that's another Donald Trump presidency. Absolutely, because it's like My holy gosh. water to them. Yeah. And no one is above the law. No one's above the law. That's right. Okay. Yep. All so. right. We'll get into uh, some of the comments of uh, President Cadaver coming up in just a minute. First of all, um, Friday, Matt Kibbe joined us to talk about the release of 
The Cover-Up, a docu-series available now on Blaze TV. The trustworthiness of uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci has been up for debate for a while. Hmm. Uh, I think <laughs> you and I both know that despite the media's campaign to defend his character, there's an awful lot of suspicious stuff going on behind the scenes. It's go, It goes way beyond that. You're going to want to watch this episode. Uh, we know they lied about COVID. We know they lied about the statistics. They were inflated. And we know that Fauci is tied into all of it. If scientists, doctors, or journalists spoke out against Fauci, they were silenced immediately. But why? Why is the COVID mafia trying to hide? And how is the message so perfectly coordinated so quickly? Well, uh, now that their lies have gotten some attention, they're doing everything they can to distract us and make us forget about COVID, lest we uncover the depths of their deception. You didn't forget how these policies and the pandemic changed our nation and our day-to-day lives. We haven't forgotten about it either. We're still dealing with the repercussions today. That's why we teamed up with Free the People to release The Cover-Up, a docu-series available now on Blaze TV, exposing Fauci for what he is, an absolute lying sack. Fauci is uh, scheduled to testify June 3rd. Well, that is today, yes, by golly. Is. That's, he's scheduled to testify today to the House Committee on Oversight and mm-hmm. Accountability. This couldn't be any more relevant <laughs> and up to the minute. So go to blazetv.com. Use the promo code uh, PAT. Is it still PAT10? Is that what it is? Okay. Use the promo code PAT. Get $30 off your annual subscription. Nice. Uh, actually, it's Fauci lied for this. For this $30 uh, uh, discount to get 30 bucks off Fauci lied F-A-U-C-I don't forget how to spell it Fauci lied get 30 bucks off your annual subscription to Blaze TV we- Pat Gray Unleashed <laughs> so Jeffy, you know, keeps reminding us that no one is above the law, right? <laughs> did you keep reminding did, did, us that no did, one is did above the law? Did you see where uh, uh, Hunter Biden owes his ex-wife two point nine million dollars in alimony? So uh, let's get on that. Wow, you know, really? Going, yeah, I just was seeing he owes, that. Yeah, he owes her a lot of money. Three million he in alimony. But again, nobody is above oh, the law. Wow. But no one is above the law. Thank How you. does that happen in the year twenty twenty four? How does that happen? How does that happen? I mean, there's so many ways that they stop these deadbeat dads and whatever husbands from doing this. And you haven't stopped this guy? It's almost like there's two sets of rules. Yeah, it's almost like that. But you know it isn't that because no no one is above the law. No one is above the law. Because as I've taught my kids in America, (laughs) Mm -hmm. everyone gets equal justice. Right, right. That's exactly right. About time you came along. That's why. Lady Justice is blindfolded right. because she can't even see what you look like. She doesn't care what you look like. Right. Scales of justice. Scales of justice. justice. Yeah, yeah. So who was it? <laughs> was it Massey? Who who was it that? I forget which conservative uh, member of the Freedom Squad tweeted out uh, over the weekend that um, over seventeen million dollars in payment hush money have been uh, doled out. Massey, it was Massey. And and what is it that he said? Chris, get on the mic here. He, he said that, that that you don't hear about this, but over $17 million in hush money payments have been doled out from congressmen and senators, right? Yes, so well, congressmen no... paid $17 million of taxpayer money for undisclosed hush payments to cover up sexual harassment. Meanwhile, candidate Trump allegedly mm. used his money for a 130 blah 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 blah. Oh $130,000 payment, yeah. That... Wait, so we know about $17 okay. million we in payments? We knew that that happened, yes. but th- I, I didn't think that was documented. Well, it is documented by CNN know, Politics. I sitting congressman quoting CNN yeah. Politics. Okay. Oh my God. But again, just to remind you, no one is, is above, above the, the law. law. So these will all be taken care of in due time. Wow. I mean, what? I forgot about this that. This is a banana. We've Republic had that story before. Yeah, we've, we have. we've talked about that. Yeah, before. that's a, yeah. and this story is from 2017. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's been a while, but we talked about that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, so if it was 17 million then, what is probably it now? 100 million oh, right, now? Right. 
And so, uh-huh. so, so Trump gets convicted wow. for misclassifying. Oh my God! Uh, One hundred and thirty thousand dollars. This is how much money did Hillary Clinton pay for Christopher Steele for that story? Do do we have a number on that? I I don't know. I just know that she paid for it. I was talking to Jackie about this last night and telling her, you know, how insane this trial yes. is and was, and how unjust it is, and. I think she was getting a little irritated with me because, you know, she doesn't... I mean, who does? Nobody likes the fact that he cheated on his wife right. and paid her off to be quiet. But I'm trying to tell her, I know, but that's not a crime. Right, right. Right? Even if he did it, and I think he probably did, uh, he probably slept with Stormy Daniels. Okay, we know that he's cheated on pretty much everybody he's ever been with, right? I mean, that's... He bragged about that. Uh, so what are you gonna do? Say no? <laughs> yes, you could. For starters, yes, you could. You oh. could. Uh, but I know that's a foreign concept uh, to you, Jeffrey. So <laughs> I do appreciate that. But let's say he did. Che- he did cheat on Melania. That's between him and Melania, you know, and God. Yes. Uh, then he paid her off to keep her quiet so she wouldn't talk about it because he. I mean, you can easily make the case it wasn't about the campaign it was about keeping it from melania yeah keep in mind right keep in mind stormy signed something saying she did not and there's Mm. that the story the lies the complete turnaround all of it and now now all of a sudden Mm -hmm. it's a felony come on it's it's ludicrous and it's also ludicrous from a soros backed alvin bragg who has been constantly reclassifying um, felonies in New York City. Yeah. And downgrading real criminals. And we were beyond the statute of limitations. Well, that's be- uh, right. They that, changed that to make this happen. And they do that all the time now since Me Too. Yeah. It's unreal. But I, I'm, Me Too laid the groundwork for that. And unreal. I, and I'm serious. We have got to stop... Republicans, man, they talk a good game. Oh, my gosh. We're, we might hit, get great committee hearings out of this. We might get some great uh, quotes, sound bites that we can play here on the show. I mean, yeah. it mm-hmm. is time. It is time to, to it's past time, to say, all right, is this how we're going to operate yeah, it is. the law I know. in this country? Because there has to be a deterrent. Yes. You have to be afraid the other side is going to do the same thing against you when they have a chance. If they're not afraid, they're just going to act with impunity as they continue to do over and over and over. It's Democrats doing this to Republicans yeah. every single time. But, I mean, it's time we need to go back and and look under every mm. rock. And we have yeah. a video later of uh, that will take us back to the Clinton era. Mm. But we've got to go back to Bill Clinton, uh, Hillary Clinton. My gosh, how about the FOIA request that she yeah. avoided with classified documents My and gosh. a personal email and a server? But we're just going to let that crap go. And we can go after well, Barack Obama. we've got Obama. the current president for the... And we've got Joe Biden. I mean, Let's come on. Go. Yeah. And that's already been swept and under the rug. And if you oh, don't yeah. do this, and if you don't fight fire with fire like this, then they're just going to keep doing the same thing to us. And I hate that you... That's necessary. But I think it's necessary it now. Yeah, I'm with you. we got to put a stop to it. It has to stop. But it's not going to, as long as they think they can act with impunity. And with no repercussions of their actions, because they've seen that they can get away with it every single time. I mean, you know, they've got this Bob Menendez situation when on the other side of the ledger with uh, Sanchez, George Santos, George Santos, uh, who lied about his life and whatever else. uh, And they kicked him out immediately. As soon as they had a chance, they got rid of him. Even though their majority was starting to get a little bit shaky and come into question, kicked him out anyway. And oh, no in one's the meantime, above the law, I heard. no one's above the right, law. right. And I mean, that's what they kind of told us. That no one is above the law. Right. Yes, thank you. Right. Ugh. Meanwhile, you got Menendez, who is uh, doing favors for other countries for money, and nobody cares oh, except John Fetterman. Oh, uh, that was his wife. Yeah, and now it's his well, it's wife. not him. Yeah, throwing his wife under the bus. <laughs> so despicable. You know why he did that, though? Yeah, exactly why he did that. Because yeah. right after he announced, I was wondering, man, why is throwing his wife under the bus like that? Yeah. They announced that she's got uh, cancer. Yeah. 
Yeah. So. So. <laughs> yeah, it's her fault. She's not going to be here anyway. It's her fault. Not long. Exactly. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, it reminds me of bags. back in the 2000s with Roger Clemens when the whole uh, oh, yeah, he threw his wife steroid yes. thing was. Yeah, that was Debbie. Yeah, my wife, what Debbie. Do? Uh, she's big into steroids <laughs> and, you know, growth hormones. I tried to tell her, stop I, accepting the Hey, you got it. This packages. is not good for you. <laughs> Okay, and then people are going to think I'm taking them when it's you. <laughs> I couldn't. That I really lost respect. Some I've the... gotten over it a little bit since then because I think he belongs in the Hall of Fame. But man, at the time, I thought, well, what a dirt bag. Right, some of the steroids Come that on. she was taking rubbed off on him. <laughs> so, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yes, you can't. What are you going to do? Sometimes she'd take this steroid, and I'd kiss her when she was uh, right. When she had it right there in her mouth, and some of it would accidentally. <laughs> right. okay. We'd be working Transfer. out. We'd both be Got sweating. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, what are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> no one is above the law. <laughs> no one is right. above Clemens. the law. Thank you, thank you. Uh, all right. So on Friday, <clears throat> President Cadaver, President Brain Dead, Biden. Uh, spoke about the Trump conviction. I'll bet he was super fair. Oh, man. And, uh, he was, well, he's great wait. as always. Yeah. is isn't just like everyone else has that opportunity. <laughs> That's how the American system of justice works. Is it? And it's reckless. I want to. It's dangerous. Do things. It's irresponsible for anyone to say this was rigged <laughs> just because they don't like the verdict. Really? Our justice oh, okay. system has endured for nearly 250 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, wow, he's... You, you've been here for about 200 of them. Yeah. Oh, more than yeah. that. More than Smoking that. crack and drinking vodka exclusively. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was also asked directly uh, if he was involved in the prosecution. This, Were you directly involved this in the is way creepy. This Trump is creepy. This, has is. This, this look over his shoulder. All right. Mr. President, can you tell us, sir, Donald Trump refers to himself as a political prisoner and blames you directly. What's your response to that, sir? <gasps> Do you think the conviction will have an impact on the campaign? Oh, man. We'd love to hear your thoughts, sir. Should he, uh, yeah, they're telling him, keep sir? walking. Yep. Keep walking. Mr. President, keep walking. Keep walking. Don't respond. Don't respond. You know that's going on in his ear right there. Just get the smile. Uh-huh. The yeah. creepy smile. That was... Oops. So creepy. Do you think the conviction will Look have an impact on the campaign? Can't take it. I know. Oh, he's... I love how he's out there, mm. Biden, saying, you know, we have to have respect for the judicial system. Um, do you? Because um, you're the one who's constantly ignoring the rulings of the highest yeah. court of yeah. the land. Yeah. The Supreme no one wow. above the law. There it's it really true. No one's above the law. Well, well I mean, except for him, you know. Of course, he's the president. Uh, the president like a king. And it was set up to be that way in the very beginning, if you remember correctly. They were very much in love with monarchies. Yes. Remember that in the yeah. beginning? Yep. Yeah, yep. they loved them. That loved gets them. swept under the rug, Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. I did so. like the, uh, the Stephen Miller tweet who said, a fun jab for Trump would be to say to Joe, hey, at least I was found mentally competent to actually stand trial. Uh, yeah. I want to I hear like that. that at the debate. I like that. There's not going to be a debate. Uh, they're going to. Uh, he can't. We can't have the president of the United States on the debating same with, stage a with a convicted felon. felon. Mm-hmm. Convicted felon. Oh, they'll use that all the time. You see, yeah. Washington State is already saying, "Yeah, we can't have uh, convicted felons on the ballots here." In, yeah, I saw uh, that. Washington but State. that's really. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. again, no one is above the law. It's unconstitutional. Mm-hmm. So they're. I think what? there's been precedent for that already, right? Well, the Supreme Court would stand in and say, this is a federal thing. Mm-hmm. Sucks for you, Washington. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can be on the Put ballot. him on the ballot. Yeah. yeah. Hope so, anyway. Hope so. Of course, you'd think they would step in at this point. Yeah, you would think. With, with one of these others. They need to. Yeah, I, they do. You know, he's begging for them to. But will they? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you know, with six justices who are sort of, you know, right, right of center some of them to a uh, bigger degree than others. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you would think that certain things would happen that should happen, but they don't. It's really weird. So they don't. Yeah, they uh, do. And that's, I think, in large part due to John Roberts as uh, Chief Justice. He's oh, yeah. so concerned about his legacy. Doesn't want to be seen as conservative. Okay. All right. Keep doing what, what you're you doing, do, man. Yeah.
Uh, all right, more coming up in just a minute. Now on the double wall. Pat Gray Unleashed. Uh, the cadaver in chief was talking about the Trump conviction last week. He was asked uh, if he ever worries about having to go to court. Conviction helps Trump in the election. Are you worried that this could happen to you someday? Somebody nah. comes up with some nice. charges and Good. tries to bring you in the court after your term? Listen, not at all. And when Trump says you're not, not at all, what? Him. Not at all. I didn't do anything wrong. The system. Politically, he's done nothing wrong. He my anus. The Get out of here. Doing all this to help yourself. I didn't know it's that powerful. Yeah, what a douche. I, just no one the I swear, if I hear the no one is a <laughs> This guy, I can't stand oh, it. Oh, so bad. Ugh. Uh, I got some tweets here. Lone Wolf 2965 tweeted, uh, Why would Keith have to wait in line at the ER? Didn't didn't he have his white privilege card with him? I, I left you it left at it at home. home? Yeah. Oh, okay. Always yeah. do that when I'm in a rush. They should have just looked at you, and that's your card. But I guess not. I no, guess not. It looks about as well. Uh, Thank you. Carl Smith, <laughs> if Stormy is so set on Donald Trump being a crook and happy about his guilty verdict, maybe she should give back the dirty money he paid her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in addition to the, was it 550000 in lawyer fees that she still owes him? Yep. 560. Yep. Red Texas 1836. <clears throat> you can remind me every second of every day that Trump is a felon. I'm still going to vote for a felon <laughs> over a man who doesn't even know that he's president. Yeah. Yeah. I I, yeah. I know someone who on Thursday who is a huge... And no, Jeffy. No, Jeffy. I'm not talking about me. Someone who <laughs> is a big RFK fan mm-hmm. who decided on Thursday night that that individual is going to be voting for Donald Trump now. Oh, really? If that is uh, replicated wow. across the fruited plain, mm-hmm. look out. Was this before your kidney stone or after? I, guess, I swear. <laughs> Kidney stone was on Friday. I just said this oh, was so Thursday. it was before. Okay. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just wondering. From Paco D, the Republicans will never, ever fight back. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, afraid of. We're all afraid of that. Uh, Fury and energy. It's amazing New Yorkers are thrilled Trump was found guilty while the same prosecutor lets violent criminals, such as rapists, walk free on the streets. You don't get to bitch about the latter and cheer for the former. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Except they do. <laughs> They're doing it. <laughs> They're doing it. Uh, the Trump team is already pumping out some new ads. Uh, check this one out. This is the final battle. With you at my side, we will demolish the deep state. We will expel the warmongers from our government. We will drive out the globalists. We will cast out the communists, Marxists, and fascists. We will throw off the sick political class that hates our country. We will rout the fake news media, and we will liberate America from these villains once and for all. Okay. That's really, that's a good, I like that ad a lot. Yeah, it's good. Text Trump to hope that's true. Uh, okay, yeah, Boy, me too. My phone was blowing me up. Me too. With Trump uh, donate now texts over the weekend. Well, he raised two hundred million dollars. So, yeah. so in the first, yeah. what was it? In the first twenty four hours. hours, it was fifty four million. I yep. think fifty four million. And then um, small donations that they got um, over the weekend were. Seventy million. Be yep. interesting to see. But okay. total you know, donations first time over two hundred million. All the first time donators. Twenty nine percent. Twenty nine percent of the donations were first timers. There you I, go. I mean, that is incredible. And a total, again, of over two hundred million dollars. So it's kind of backfiring. Awesome. That's awesome. What they had hoped. Yeah. I, I love that. Yeah. And honestly, I mean, if you take a step back and look at this as, and I don't think this is hyperbole at all. As we are, America's last chance uh, is got to be Donald Trump, right? Mm. Because he sure is he is the the um, how do I say this? Um, what they're doing to him is what they're trying to do to this country, mm-hmm. and that is absolutely destroy it. And and I think that it's uh, pretty obvious. But you got to vote for here. Yep. yep. You see, I guess it's tr- it's called Trump talk now. What's that? 
Uh, he joined TikTok this weekend. Oh yes, I heard that. This is, I guess, is Trump talk. <laughs> oh, Trump. T- hold on a second. This is the TikTok that Trump tried to ban when he was president. And that's yes. correct. Same okay. TikTok. So hold on, hold on. Chris has some fun stats on Joe Biden. I do. The differences. So, yeah, the different so numbers. So Joe yeah. Biden joined TikTok in February of this year. Got about three hundred and fifty-four thousand followers. People love Trump. Him. Oh man. 24 hours mm-hmm. got 1.4 million yeah. followers. 1.4 Hold on. million. And then now is that what? Keith? 3 million? I, I heard 3 million this 3 morning. 3 million yeah. this morning. Hold on a second. D- is this the Good. same TikTok that Joe Biden said that federal employees weren't allowed to be on? Yes. Okay. Yes. But that's TikTok is where he releases mm-hmm. Dark Brandon. Of course. Of course. So. Stupid. Yeah. He has no clue. He no, he does not. No, he does not. That's why. But that first video of, social media. of Trump and TikTok was. Amazing because it was at the UFC with Dana White. It was fantastic. Oh yeah, yeah. we got some of those videos out. coming. He up. walked we out. It was videos. amazing. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Mm-hmm. We got, do we have another Trump uh, ad? We do. They, they've been busy. Okay. This was done by the Biden administration in order to wound or hurt an opponent, a political opponent. Mr. President, can you tell us, sir? Donald Trump refers to himself as a political prisoner and blames you directly. What's your response to that, sir? So oh good. man, it's so good. Yeah, that's that's strong. Uh, yesterday, Trump was asked about uh, possible jail time that it he might be doing. The judge could decide to say, "Hey, house arrest or even jail." It could I face it could. what that could. Be. I'm okay with it. I saw one of my lawyers the other day on television saying, "Oh no, you don't want to do that to the president." I said, "Don't you don't beg for anything. You just the way." I mm-hmm. love that. Mm-hmm. I just imagine it with oh, Putin. Yeah. We're not going to beg for anything. Good. That's good. Yeah. That was good. Six point uh, bump uh, in Trump's approval rating I saw over the weekend. So already. Oh, my gosh. Really? Yeah. Six point bump. And nice. Biden at, the, at his slowest mm. at the same time. On Friday, he reached <laughs> his slowest approval rating. Lower than 36? Because... Uh, that's where he was last week, which was his lowest ever. I'm telling you, man. Think of the street cred to have a convicted felon as our president. Who's going to mess with? Him? We got 37 countries that won't let you travel yeah. to him, including the UK and Canada. Okay, <laughs> okay. really? Okay. So when Donald Trump is president of the United States, Canada will say, "Sorry, you're banned. You can't come here." The UK will say, "Sorry, you're banned. You can't come to the UK." You know that can't. That's not going to happen. And that plus, can't hold up. So, yeah, and even if it did, yeah. Oh no, we can't. Our president can't go on Canadian soil. <laughs> right. We might as well close up shop. <laughs> right. <laughs> we can't function as America anymore if our president can't visit <laughs> Toronto. <laughs> Jeez. So. Oh man. Uh, what was the thing? What did you just say to me? Oh, yeah, okay, 34%. 34%. He's down to 34%. Biden, okay. Sheesh. Meanwhile, Trump went up six points. That's incredible. Yeah, I mean, it shouldn't be 1%, but 34% is record low for anybody, really. Any president of the United States, especially at this point of their presidency, there should be no way for him to win re-election. There should be no way. In a normal world... He's too disliked. It should not be able to happen. And yet, we still talk about it as if it's a strong possibility. Yes, we do. Oh, man. So, over the weekend, there was a big UFC event. And uh, look who showed up. And Yeah, they were all there. Check out the reception that this person received. Costa, also with us tonight. 45... <laughs> Can you imagine Joe Biden trying to just no. walk no. and enter an arena? Like this? <laughs> no right. way. This is so great. <laughs> He's coming in like a prize fighter. It's so no good. No doubt. <laughs> awesome. That's great. I wish he was swinging at the air, shadow boxing while he did this. <laughs> Boy, the energy there yeah. was intense. Yes, it yeah. was. Again, this is New Jersey. Well, yeah, sneaking suspicion. 
That former President Trump would be in the building for UFC 302. He is a rabid mixed martial arts fan. I kind of feel like he's betting on these fights when he's not actually here. <laughs> Boy, the round of applause he's getting right now is that's, pretty staggering. And you that's amazing. And you had to amazing. imagine that's what was going to happen. And then when they officially introduced him, I mean, it was even louder still. Thank you, sir. Mm. Donald Trump with wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's unequivocal. You can't say, well, that was a mixed reaction. No way. <laughs> that wasn't mixed. At all. Man, they love him. They do. They yeah. love him at I UFC. Mean, even the prize fighters jumped over with after they won and said hello. Yeah, we got a lot of Oh, those. okay. Yep. All right. Uh, Here's a... Uh, yeah, so, FJB chance. Yeah, during the... I mean, just spontaneous, like, we want Trump, uh, F. Joe Biden. I mean, just during the fight. Close in the distance and a few capoeira kicks perhaps tonight. I think there's just a freeness about that, right? Oh, that God. dancing. We, we want King. Trump. You incorporate that into your fighting wow. style. It makes you so difficult to oh, prepare for it, folks. There is so much we could have pulled from this night. Right there. It's just the energy mm. was just constant. Uh, then after his win, UFC fighter Sean Strickland acknowledged Donald Trump as well. Thank you, Rogan. Hey, President Trump, you're the man, bro. It is a damn travesty what they're doing to you. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. <laughs> there was a uh, headline. I'm looking for the yeah. From uh, there was a headline on uh, Mediaite. Trump enthusiastically accepts praise from UFC fighter who has repeatedly gone off on homophobic rants. All oh, right, <laughs> boy. <laughs> who wrote that? A. First of all, okay. First of all, uh, what is he supposed to do about the praise that he was just given? Take it out of the guy's mouth, put it back in, <laughs> ignore him, completely. ignore him, turn his back on him, flip him the bird. What's he supposed to do? Honestly, what are you gonna? What are you doing there with with the praise that you're getting? Me what are you gonna it. do? It's so stupid. And then. What is your definition of a homophobic rant, too, from Sean Strickland? I mean, that's your opinion, that he's gone off on. First of all, I don't think Sean Strickland is afraid of homosexuals. I doubt it was homophobic. Um, but one of the things that they, they include in the story uh, is Strickland interrupted a reporter and asked if he was gay because he was being asked about if his son... I mean, somebody, after a stupid, after a fight, right. they ask him this stupid question about if he would disapprove of his son being gay. So Strickland asked the reporter if he was gay and how he would feel if his son were gay. The reporter responded, I'm an ally, and so that would be okay if my son was gay. So Strickland said to him, you're a weak effing man, dude. <laughs> You're part of the effing problem. You elected Justin Trudeau when he was when he seized the bank accounts. You're just effing pathetic. And the fact that you have no effing backbone as he shut down your effing country and seized bank accounts, you ask me some stupid stuff like that? Go F yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Move the F on, man. <laughs> effing coward. <laughs> LGDP, uh, LGT, LBG, LGBTQ2 plus. Is that a homophobic rant, though? That's just, uh, he's pissed at this reporter for asking That's him a, a stupid question. question. It's ridiculous. It's not homophobic nonsense. I'm just, I'm tired of this stuff. I'm just really tired of the headlines, the spin, the lies, the deceit. It's got to stop eventually. Jeez. So uh, we saw Joe Rogan there shaking hands with Donald oh, yeah. Trump. Rogan was a topic of conversation the other day during a debate between Chris Cuomo and Dave Smith. Mm -hmm. Here's they, what happened. Obviously, there was so much talk that they don't want you to take ivermectin. Ivermectin is the way to go take it. Joe Rogan got better from ivermectin. And by the way, I don't like what people did to Joe Rogan about ivermectin. Oh, I don't like you it. did it. No, no. No. 
Or yes, you right. did. Yes, find the clips. did. F dude, find the clips. You shamed Joe Rogan. Find the you clips. Right. He's taking horse dewormer. So, you and Don Lemon were chuckling at so, each other about it. No. I'll go find First the clips. First of all, you just saw the clips. I'm it. not chuckling. I'm listening to Don. But no, no, no. The clip the I'm talking about wasn't on there. <laughs> here's it's it. absolutely there. We oh, oh, here. Do we have yes. it? Hold on. Let's play the clip. Receipts. Receipts. <laughs> which we just played a few weeks ago. Yeah. But here it is. Drugs for animals and horse. And people telling them to. What person? <laughs> you know, you talk about like you know cancel culture and who to shame. Mm -hmm. Ivermectin, a dewormer, really? They are shaming themselves. That's no what it is. Shame them. They're shaming themselves. No, they so you're shame taking them. a dewormer right now. This, Chris, is Chris you can't apologize for that. This, you weren't being clear that it was this, right. and you know that, dude. You're, you're being so right. dishonest right now. I'm, right. I'm not. You were talking yes. about ivermectin, the drug. You were not right. talking about I this was, version of ivermectin. Come on. I man. was responding right. to a situation where we were told that this is what people were ser searching out to take, and nobody knew what it was going to oh, do. Oh, no, stop, stop it. Stop it. I'm you can't use your noodle, the man. Drug right now, obviously, I don't think it's all poison. I stopped calling it the mm. horse drug when, and you can you, you can started not like taking it. it? CNN's yes. chief medical officer, who is Sanjay uh -huh. Gupta, to said this. to me, "You shouldn't just call it a horse dewormer. There's a whole legitimate aspect of the drug. Uh -huh. I wouldn't use it for COVID-19, but it's not just a veterinary." Drug. Unreal. So I stopped calling it that. So, okay. And then it went away. By the way, I, I don't know if you guys saw this. One of the best moments during the pandemic <laughs> was when Gopter, uh, Dr. Gupta, who was just mentioned, went on Joe Rogan's mm -hmm. uh, podcast <laughs> for all the all the uh, days of CNN, like demonizing Joe Rogan. Right. They send their top doctor out there onto his show, and he goes, uh, "Why you got?" He goes, "Why is everyone on your network saying I'm taking horse dewormer? Ivermectin's not." And Dr. Gupta looked down at his lap and went, yeah, no, they shouldn't be saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Smith is the guy the Libertarian Party expected to be their nominee. Oh, until instead they got that. Until he decided that he didn't want to. He decided oh, at the last minute. Yeah. Was, so. Incredible. Incredible. And Chris Cuomo tried to change history. Oh, there's no question. In real time. That's not Sorry. the other, do, do no. we have that other clip with no. them? No. Okay, there there was another great uh, interaction with those two where Dave shut him <laughs> down. I mean, it was yeah. incredible. Yeah. yeah, it's good stuff. I'm glad he was called to, out on that. Absolutely, he's just trying to rewrite his own history. Yeah, he's trying Sorry to worm about out of it, this. Chris. Nope. Yeah, you don't get to do that now. I mean, he was adamant yes. about ivermectin at the time, and probably taking it weirdly yeah. at the time. Uh, his wife was into all kinds of yeah. weird concoctions and was talking about it openly. So don't give me that. And don't forget Anthony Fauci, who now admits that they just completely made up the six feet social distancing rule. Just made it up. Uh, he's going to be uh, in front of Congress today. He is so <laughs> full of <laughs> this guy. We do that, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, we did. But now yeah. he's finally admitting it. I mean, little by little, the facts are actually coming out now. More coming up. Pat Gray Unleashed. Pat Gray is here. I am. On the Blaze Radio Network. And welcome to it. We take a minute. You know, warmer, sunnier days are calling right now. They're more than calling. They're, yeah, they're, they're here. here in Texas. But uh, so is really violent weather. Sheesh. But you can fuel up for these warmer days with Factors No Prep No Mess meals. Meet your wellness goals in time for summer. Thanks to the, the menu of chef-crafted meals with options like Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto, too. Factors fresh, never frozen meals are dietitian approved, and they're ready eat, ready to eat in just two minutes. So no matter how busy you are, you'll always have time to enjoy nutritious, great tasting meals. I, I just anytime I have to do preparation on meals, I'm like, man, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> just <laughs> so much. It just I'm uh, sorry, so, I'm too lazy. Somebody else in the house. That can yeah, do that. I'm not. I'm not doing that. And if nobody else is in the house, thank goodness for Factor meals. <laughs> Because they're delicious. I still want to eat something delicious, uh, but I don't want to prepare it. That's where these meals come in. Uh, it's a great, healthy way to go. Treat yourself to restaurant-quality meals that feature premium ingredients like filet mignon, shrimp, and blackened salmon. Uh, keep kitchen time to a minimum. 
Factor meals are ready to eat in two minutes. No shopping, no prepping, cooking, cleanup, none of that stuff. Enjoy effortless support for your lifestyle. Choose from six menu preferences to help you manage calories, maximize protein intake, avoid meat if you want, or simply eat well. Balanced meals. Uh, head to factormeals.com slash pat50. Factormeals.com slash pat50. Use the code pat50 and you'll get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. That's code pat50 at factormeals.com slash pat50. To get 50% off your first box and 20% off your next month while your subscription is active. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. We got some tweets here. The Honorable, I'm a licking butter. I remember when Whoopi was skinny and funny. Boy, am I old. She's getting there, though. She's getting there again. She's yeah. looking good. Oh, the Ozempic's paying off. You're looking pretty hot there. Oh, no. no. Look at that. Uh, She's looking hot? good there. Yeah. Slimmer. I mean, definitely. But Jeff Fisher and I, just not on the same page. No, no, no. Mm-mm. When it comes to. It's very true. Beauty, but she's not wearing the muumu anymore, right? She's slimmed down no, enough. She's slimmed down enough. She's in some other she outfits. Have to wear she, the got, she got rid of the mop. Tent. The she mop got rid of the is white gone. Mop. Yeah. yeah, the white yeah. mop's gone. She's looking good. She's getting ready, mm-hmm. I think, for a new film, probably. Yeah. Oh, I bet you, I bet you she's getting ready for a new film. Did Could she be. wear Jeffy's by Moomoo? She does not wear Moomoo's by, by Jeffy. Jeffy. I've, I have I reached mean, out right to Whoopi a number so of what times. So what she gets with a DEI hire? Jeffy's by Moomoo. Good job, Chris. Don't worry about it. You knew what he was talking about. You nailed it. Chris, way to go. Sure did. Thank you, Chris. From You're Carol welcome, Remarks. Sure. I have absolutely no problem voting for a felon for president with Joe Biden putting men in dresses into leadership positions. Oh, wow. No, no, honey. No. Why the discrimination? Why? That's just, uh, that's just hate mongering. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. We all love. What's his face? <laughs> we love him. Love him. He's great. Uh, ben Burner 24, uh, Democrats are removing Republicans while Republicans do nothing. This isn't checkers or chess. This is Dems playing war games on NORAD while the GOP is asleep. Yeah, happens every time. Sure does. Uh, Puck and Ray, if President Trump can't travel to certain countries as a convicted felon, it's only fair that our money can't either. Ha! That would be great, I wish that it? were the case. That'd be great. Yes. Yes. Did you see the Zelensky stuff? He's warning Trump that uh, he'd better not do whatever he's going to do on Ukraine. Then do whatever we've had about enough of him. I've had more than enough. We've had enough of him. Of Vladimir Zelensky. Isn't it I'm time just for sick of the him guy. For him to be voted out. Oh, wait. They canceled oh, the yeah. elections. No. Never right. mind. Can't do that. Right. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. And Pathetic. Did you see where uh, Biden gave permission to Ukraine to uh, carry out limited strikes within Russia yeah. with U.S. weapons. Yeah. Exactly what Putin said don't do. Yeah, and I thought that... Hold on. Exactly what we said we wouldn't allow. Right. Yeah. You but, know, beyond uh, anything Putin has said, we've said it. I have some quotes <laughs> from Joe Biden. You ready? Crazy. 2022, Joe Biden says, quote, we won't send long-range missiles to Ukraine because we don't want to start a war with Russia, end quote. Biden in 2023, we're sending long-range missiles to Ukraine, end quote. Jeez, Biden in man. 2024, we're allowing Ukraine to use American long-range missiles to strike Russia. Huh. That seems like a change in policy. I swear. Mm. And oh, yeah. I think, I think uh, Antony... Uh, Blinken was uh, yapping somewhere else again, talking about bringing. Uh, yeah, but he, did he uh, play Ukraine his guitar? In, did I don't he play think his guitar. So. Oh, I don't okay. know that Dang though. It. I don't know, but Darn I, I, it. he was talking about uh, <laughs> ah! allowing them into NATO. Maybe he did. Maybe after he got. Yeah, those, did uh, he, as long as he sang to the country, he was yeah. talking about. That's what's important. Yeah, I, yeah. You know, as long as he, you know, did a musical performance, then I, I'm happy. I try to convince I'm myself. Guitar, no guitar. Uh, with guitar. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's got to play guitar. Yeah, okay. Uh, I try to convince myself that that uh, the system will allow Donald Trump to win a third term. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sorry, uh, oh. to win a second term uh, for the third time. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. and and I, as more and more things mount up from the disaster that is a Joe Biden presidency, mm-hmm. such as what's 
about to happen between the U.S. and Russia and fill in the blank. You could do this all day with immigration and inflation and so on. I just, and here Jeffy's going to mock me, and, and rightfully so. I think back to <laughs> the Grover Cleveland. He's going to be a trivia question answer, right? It's like, mm-hmm. who served two non-consecutive terms? Grover Cleveland. Grover Cleveland. Mm-hmm. And if you look at the... Jeffy's just staring at me. <laughs> no, I'm if you look at the, I'm listening if to you, your history if, lesson. If you look at the <laughs> traps that uh, President Harrison laid for the, the second term of Grover Cleveland, Jeffy's like, As yes, I, 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 I totally was thinking well, that. Well, Jeffy's been on I that. Thought this, is setting this, up, for days. this is setting up to be <laughs> one whack-a-mole mm-hmm. after another for Donald Trump when he gets back in there. Yeah. It's just, oh, yeah. it's, it's absolutely insane. Mm-hmm. And, and see, the thing with Harrison, as Jeffy recalls, because he was, I think it was the first election you voted well, wrote in, the, right? I think he wrote the book, too. Is that, right. that did. you didn't yeah. get inaugurated until March. And the, the, the traps that were set in the U.S. economy, I swear, why am I even talking mm-hmm. to you? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> because they purposefully screwed over Grover Cleveland Yeah, because they had five months to destroy... The economy, I'm going to stop. Anyway, so I'm just no, I'm I, fearful for, for what, because then Trump's going to get blamed yes. for all of this insane stuff that is happening. Well, we got to get him uh, into office before we even correct. Uh, deal with I all know. of that. I correct. Know. I know. I know. Uh, and that's a huge obstacle. Once we get him into office, then we can start saying, yeah, hey, then, hey, remember Grover Cleveland. And just prepare <laughs> for the next several months. <laughs> Of of the Biden administration is going to go full tilt on this. Mm-hmm. This inflation is caused by greedy corporations nonsense. Yeah, well, that's that's, already, that's already started. Now, I mean. should the battle cry be "Remember uh-huh. Grover Cleveland" uh-huh. or should it be "Remember Benjamin Harrison"? Oh, that's oh, what we need to. Yeah. We well, need to now, decide. now it should be. We have to remember, remember Harrison. Harrison. What happened, yeah, remember right? Benjamin Harrison. Office, now we got to remember Grover. Damn, Benjamin I Harrison know. set all those traps in the economy. Right? Right. Yeah. Hello. Okay. So Grover wasn't even uh, we need sworn be... in until March. Right. right. I listened. You did. So he had five months. <laughs> he had five months to lay the trash. I know. So uh, Grover Cleveland, the last electable Democrat. Good times, America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. What you said. Exactly. And then we have the historic, uh, I don't know where you're headed, but uh, we're talking about uh, Zelensky and, you know, the leader yeah. of uh, Ukraine and Russia. But we have a historic election that just happened in Mexico. We now have Holy a cow, female yeah. ruler in Mexico. I mean, big, leader, president. Big, 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 big climate change person. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be Mexico. fun. Oh, yeah. yeah she's that's going to be fun. Yeah. That will be wonderful. Good luck getting more avocados from Mexico because yeah. they're soaking know. up water, man. You can't have that. <laughs> I mean, if, if you were on Jeopardy and, like, the answer was... Claudia Scheinbaum. Would you think Mexico? Mexico. That's the president of Mexico. <laughs> Scheinbaum. No, no. I saw a picture of her today for the first time. I had never seen her before. Yeah. But I did. I mean, there were some stats on uh, how many She's far politicians left. have been killed in Mexico. Thirty-seven. It was. I can't. I was unbelievable. The stats I read this candidates morning. for office were murdered this this cycle. Year, okay, this this year. cycle. Oh gosh. I, I, I'm not sure if it's yeah. this year what or this cycle. This stuff? I've read uh, yeah. both. Uh, uh, yeah, but was... 37 political candidates have been murdered in Mexico. That's a record. It, it beats, enough. I think, 2017 or 2018's record of 36. <laughs> wow. Right. <laughs> right. 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 It was. It was an unbelievable number. It's incredible it's incredible Mm -hmm. i I mean you are in very bad peril (laughs) if you run for any kind of office some of these offices are just local like yeah all the mayors we had the mayor who got assassinated on camera last week right but then there was like a city council person i read those numbers i read those numbers this weekend and i thought man i gotta stop thinking about grover cleveland look what's going on in mexico (laughs) well it's the trap that benjamin harris said that's the problem uh, and it's the trap. <laughs> it's a fact that the drug cartels have set. Oh, that's for in sure. Mexico. Well, the good news is we uh, have that border on oof. lockdown, so none of that stuff's getting imported. Here. Oh, there you go. Right. There that is, go. The, that good is the good news. news. Yeah, Otherwise, we might border, stress a little bit. The border, I believe, is secure. Is it not? Uh, uh, well, the yeah, border. Yes. The mm-hmm. border is secure. Thank you, Alejandro. That guy. Thank you. He's brilliant. Right? Is that? Yeah, what, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah. Yeah. I sensed. That that's what you that were is the word I was looking for. groping for right there. <laughs> My word started with a different letter, but sure, we'll go with huh, brilliant. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. Jeffy, brilliant. groping. Good imagery. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so as the left continues to go after uh, Trump, keep in mind, he's not the only one feeling the weight of the Joe Biden Justice Department. 
Uh, you've got Jay Sixers yeah. and others, There's... like this woman, who drove alongside a Biden campaign bus in remember Texas with the Trump this? flags flying Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, so this yeah. is an update on her situation. By the way, add to that list our own uh, Steve Baker, who I think is back in court Steve today. Steve Baker, yep. Right? Is that yep. you, you right there? Yeah, they were, in fact... With Steve, they were trying to make it so that he couldn't go to Washington, D.C. without getting permission first or whatever. Remember? And, I mean, there's other restrictions on him, too. Oh, no, no, he permission. hasn't been convicted of anything, and he's got all these uh, pre-trial conditions that he has to adhere to. But when you listen to this lady that was uh, driving alongside the bus, she's been battling this thing for four years now. This is insane what's happening. In this so she's drive, just driving on an American road. American road, and, and her big mm-hmm. uh, sin was that she had Trump flags. And that she was next to the bus. The malarkey bus? Yeah. And uh, by the way, Wendy Davis, who ran for Texas governor, you recall, she was she's one of the plaintiffs against this woman that you're about to see. Um, and wait till you hear. So what was the charge against wait her? Till yeah. you hear. Wait till you hear. Oh, man. Here it is. I hear one more person say, if it happens to Trump, it can happen to you. It's already happening to people like me. It's happening. What we need to be saying is it's happening to Trump and it's happening to people like you not it can it is i am getting sued a homeschool mom for flying trump flags in 2020 i've been in court for four years because biden's white house is saying that we gave them emotional damage the same lawfare that's happening to trump the obama appointed judge the gag order all the unfair tactics that they use all the abuse of resources is happening to regular people Look at the January Sixers, uh, the praying grandma, yeah. the woman who was peacefully protesting in front of an abortion clinic, the right. people who are posting memes on social media and facing prison time. Free speech mm-hmm. is under attack. The left is using lawfare to chill free speech, to silence us and interfere with elections and to go up against their opponents and people who support them. What you need to be asking is how many other people is it happening to? Mm. Okay, okay, well, and, what, what is okay, the deal? It's, a, it's an anti-KKK wow. law from 1871 where you can't intimidate people where she was driving down the road. She was what? intimidating the Biden well, bus? She had, a, she had a Trump flag. And when you're driving alongside I can't a believe that hasn't bus, been thrown out. I How is that not either. tossed I out? I if, come on! If, if you want to help come with uh, her uh, legal oh expenses, um, her website is Free Speech Defender. Dot com and it tells the whole story and where you can donate. Free we should see if we can get her on the air. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, crazy. I, wow, I have not followed that. I didn't. I did four not know years about this I know. of that. It just kind of it come on slipped in the back of your mind, and then you see this video, and you're like, oh my gosh, that's right. Yeah, I remember it initially, but sure. then we all forgot about it, of course. Yeah, because it was just other a things truck happened. with flags driving yeah. by a bus, <laughs> right? And it's one of those things you think, okay, it made the news blip, and now yeah. it's done. Yeah, not and, in my America. And then other things happen. I want to go back to that, Pat. You said yeah. other things happen. Mm-hmm. Like what? <laughs> I, I don't uh, understand that. There were just little things. Oh, so like, oh, they just little add, I can't they remember them all right now. But okay. yeah, a couple of little things in the last four years. They make you forget. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you about Patriot Mobile. For 10 years, Patriot Mobile, it's more than that, actually. They've been America's only Christian conservative wireless provider, and they're awesome. Uh, Glenn over there at Patriot Mobile and his team have been great supporters of this show. And that's one of the many, many reasons I'm proud to partner with them. Patriot Mobile offers dependable nationwide coverage. So you don't have to sacrifice quality for your principles and your values. That's what I love about it. Yeah, You're going to get the same great coverage because they use the same towers as the main, you know, the big main carriers that spend all your money. On uh, killing babies and things. That's not the case with Patriot Mobile. Uh, When you support them, you send the message that you support free speech, religious freedom, the sanctity of life, the Second Amendment, our military, our veterans, our first responder heroes, and they have 100% U.S.-based customer service. So great. And they make switching really easy. Keep your number, keep your phone, change both if you want. They'll accommodate you they got a plan to fit your needs and your budget just go to patriotmobile.com slash pat or call 972 patriot get free activation when you use the offer code pat join me and make the switch today patriotmobile.com slash pat patriotmobile.com slash pat or 972 patriot this is pat gray unleashed Uh, 
Greg Price reminded us over the weekend what Washington, D.C. looked like four years ago. Oh, yeah. This past weekend when radicals on the left set fires and uh, tried to get into the White House. Yeah, but Hmm. never hear about that. No, no. It's always those crazy MAGA folk. Are those people ever going to be brought to court or thrown behind bars? No. Nope. No. I mean, look at that. Yeah. Look it's, at that. It's almost like there are uh, two, two. tiers. But we know that can't be true because uh, nobody yeah, is nobody's above, above the law. Yeah, thank you. But no one is above the law. Right, right. Senator Mike Lee has been gathering up some signatures in the Senate. He says it's time to play hardball mm-hmm. in the Senate. Good. Now that the left has done what they've done to Donald Trump. Yeah. Uh, here's what Mike Lee posted over the weekend. Strongly worded statements are not enough. Well, thanks, Mike. <laughs> Those who turned our judicial system into political cudgel must be held accountable. Yeah, I hate it when people turn things yeah, into cudgel. cudgels. I don't, yeah. I don't like cudgel. You know who? You I, know? I've got a jihad against cudgel. Oh, wait, right should now. I add that to the you list? You know who the yeah. first? Well, I think Probably one of the first is, persons to yeah. uh, create political cudgel was Marvin Harrison. But I don't know that. Benjamin Harrison? Benjamin Harrison. Yeah, Marvin Harrison was the, the, the receiver. Yeah, he's a yeah. wide receiver in the NFL. He created cudgel, too, but just not, yeah. it was after. But not, not as bad Benjamin. as Benjamin uh-huh. Harrison. So I'm writing it down. No cudgel. No cudgel. <laughs> no cudgel. <laughs> Completely <laughs> against <laughs> it. <laughs> we are no longer cooperating with any Democrat legislative priorities Good. or nominations. Good. And we invite all concerned senators to join our stand. The letter he posted then reads... The White House has made a mockery of the rule of law and fundamentally altered our politics in un-American ways. As a Senate Republican conference, we are unwilling to aid and abet this White House in its project to tear this country apart. Signatories included uh, Mike Lee, J.D. Vance, Tommy Tuberville, uh, Eric Schmidt, Marsha Blackburn, Rick Scott, Roger Marshall, and Marco Rubio. Mm. The usual suspects. Yeah. Specifically, specifically, the group promised three things. To not allow any increase in non-security funding or spending bills that fund partisan lo- lawfare. To not vote for any of the White House's political or judicial nominees. Wow. And to not allow faster consideration of Democratic... Uh, legislative priorities not directly relevant to the safety of the American people. Those who turned our judicial system into a political cudgel must be accountable, Uh-oh. Lee said. Uh-oh. So, I mean, this not just once. It's in here weekend. twice. Yeah. I don't know if he did it twice, but we did. Because the political cudgel <laughs> is the critical element here. Yeah. We can't have any more of it. That's why I have a jihad against political <laughs> cudgel. We are no longer cooperating with any Democrat (laughs) legislative priorities or nominations, and we invite all concerned senators to join our stand. I bet uh, you noticed that Rand Paul's not I did notice that. I Uh, did notice that. And I wonder if that's because he has a thing where he believes that the judicial Judicial, nominees should be... Just be be, uh, rubber stamped. Yeah. So he's pro-cudgel. He's pro, I, I guess so. He's, I don't know that he's pro cudgel. At least that part of the cudgel. I hate to throw Rand in the cudgel. <laughs> oh, and, and you said that was Mike Lee. Yeah. Did Mike you Lee. see him with President Bukele over the weekend? Oh wow, no. I did not. He was down there for the inauguration of the El Presidente. Oh wow, really? That's yeah, awesome. It was I him love and that his guy. Wife. Well, that's great. Pro ivermectin, pro Bitcoin, pro putting. He's done a good job so far. Cartels like. behind prison. But Trump Jr. was down there too for that, wasn't he? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh was he? That's yeah. okay. All right. The whole was a whole. Mm. Okay. That's cool. Also on Friday, this is exciting. Uh, Joe <laughs> Biden hosted the Kansas City Chiefs because they won the Super Bowl. Of so. course. And you say this is exciting. Yeah, it's exciting because <laughs> he put on a Chiefs helmet. Okay. Let's see. And uh, Let's here's see. how that went down. Oh, do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah, do, you, do you remember how to do it, all, all American? Now watch this, though. When he gets it on. What a that looks like a moron. <laughs> Look, don't make the ball. Don't make the ball. I'm a first Jeez, class I'm... wide receiver. I can't stand it. Now watch the, Watch him shuffle over to the microphone. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Haha, <laughs> uh-huh, the mic's off. <laughs> Stupid ass. <laughs> <laughs> How? How is it that the president oh goes God. to the microphone and the microphone is off? Because they can't know. get I it mean, switched seriously. off fast enough. He's so bad. No, I know, but my gosh. That's embarrassing. Look at that. Look at that. 
It's embarrassing that Andy Reid had to be there with him. I know. I know. That's a real shame. Does that, does that, was Butker there? Moment, I don't know. I wonder if Harrison Butker showed. Let's see here. What did he do? Hmm. He's got, why not? I mean, he could. Yeah. Yeah. But hold on. Does that picture of Joe Biden put put him up there with the jumbo helmet on? (laughs) Look at that. Does that, uh, does that remind you of any other? It sure does. It reminds me of the Michael Dukakis in the tank thing. (laughs) Yep. I thought it was an unspoken rule that presidents don't put anything on their heads. Yeah. <laughs> it would be a good rule. I thought that was yeah. like the rule. Hey, yeah. don't put that on. Well, because... after Dukakis, exactly. I think it that. has been. Yeah. I don't know. Didn't John Kerry do it? Yeah. Oh, he, oh, and he Kerry, lost too. Kerry right? was in that yes. uh, suit, that little space suit. Yeah. Looking, right? Yeah. Yep. Did he put the helmet on, the space helmet? I think he did. Uh, I don't Seems know. Like and, and yes, Harrison Butker was there. Oh, oh my wow. gosh. Was I'd really? forgotten how bad this was for John Kerry. Yo. Yeah. Because he's crawling out of the... Some space thing in Ohio, right? Mm. <laughs> yep. Yep. And he lost. So Dukakis lost. Yeah. Kerry lost. Uh, Biden's going to lose. Biden's going to lose. There it is. So Let's good. hope. The helmet. Hope and pray. Oh, my gosh. That might be the moment we look back on. Remember when he put on the Chiefs yeah. helmet? Yeah. And he that lost. ended it for him. Well, he's down to 34% approval already. So maybe that makes it 24 mm. right there. Because we'll he looked like such a moron. 34%. I want to meet that 34%. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I want to meet them, please. I, I don't think you'd like them very much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how, after everything that's happened with this I guy. I don't know either. How do you still approve of his... I, pff, we are in hell. Incredible. Yeah. It's incredible. Uh, oh, if gosh. the guy that lives behind me puts up his Biden sign again, I may have to stop in. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah. may have to just put a microphone there. in front oh, of his boy. face. Because I cannot believe that one out of every three Americans is like, yay, Joe Biden. That's way to believe, yeah. too high. It's hard to believe. That is. <sighs> mm. All right. 888-900-3393. More Pat Gray Unleashed coming up. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. Welcome. Triple A 933-93 Pat Unleashed on Twitter. You know, there's those who lead and there's those who follow. And when it's time for you to buy or sell a house, especially in this housing market... The type of person you need is the former, not the latter. You need a leader. You need somebody who's going to show you the ropes, tell you, help you understand what it is you should do with your home in order to help it sell for the most amount of money. Uh, A lot of years ago, Glenn got so fed up with his follower type of real estate agent, not to mention, you know, they didn't know what they were doing. (laughs) Um, not only were they followers, they didn't they didn't really even know who they were following. <laughs> so that's why he started Real Estate Agents I Trust, because he didn't want you to go through the same hassles he went through. And he wound up selling his house for $39.95. And uh, a little hint, it was worth more than that. <laughs> it was worth considerably more than $39.95. Real Estate Agents I Trust pairs you with the best real estate agent in your area, somebody who knows the best practices, someone who understands the crazy housing market, someone who's a team leader and a closer, somebody you can trust. If you're thinking about buying or selling your home or both, please get in touch with them. It's a free service we provide for you. You're going to love it. Real Estate Agents I Trust. The name says it all. Realestateagentsitrust.com. Gray Unleashed. Well, it's Pride Month. Yay! Again. And I'm so proud. What? what you better be. Those people. You better be. Sexual preferences. Really, I burst for them. I celebrate them. Okay. You know what I mean? This better be genuine. Oh, gosh. Or, I, or else. The, I don't know that it could be more genuine. The, I really don't know. The Rainbow Mafia is going to come l- after as you. As long as they're, they're okay with celebrating... Yeah. You know, my preference, mm-hmm. I'm fine with celebrating theirs. And they are. Except they're not. No. Oh. 
Oh. Uh, there's a bar in Idaho that is celebrating heterosexual awesomeness month. I like that. Has he been shut down yet? And, uh, well, guy. they're trying to because they're they're very upset with him. Um, and I guess he's gotten both. So uh, he wrote, come join us all month to celebrate heterosexuals. For <laughs> without them, <laughs> none of us would be here. <laughs> Amen. It's at the Old State Saloon in the city of Eagle, Idaho. And he put that on his Facebook post. Every Monday in June will be Hetero Male Monday with a free <laughs> draft beer given to any heterosexual male yes. dressed like uh, a heterosexual, heterosexual male. Man. This is awesome. <laughs> the Old State Saloon in Eagle, Idaho, which also hosts events including Conspiracy Theory Trivia Night with a uh, rifle as the prize, is celebrating it all month. And uh, it, the only problem is it's Pride Month and... I don't know that they should coincide. I don't know. Mm. Right? Wow. That almost makes it seem like he's not being sincere. It almost does. Sure does. It almost does. It kind of dampens it a little bit for me. But they even put out a call seeking a professional judge qualified to determine if men's chosen clothing is officially <laughs> heterosexual. Ooh, I'll apply. <laughs> it's going to pay 15 bucks an hour, that's, so it's a pretty good gig. It's a pretty good gig. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wednesdays are for couples where each heterosexual couple oh, yeah. will receive 15% off their bill. Wednesday's business night. Yeah. <laughs> business night. Thursdays are ladies' night, heterosexual ladies, to be precise, with her hetero happy hour. All of those start with another, H. Get another it? Another business night. Matter of uh, fact, this bar is just a business bar. And that promises happy hour prices for straight women all day long. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so this yeah. is a uh, yeah. Eagles yeah. Uh, I would suburb like of a boys. drink. Yes. Yes. You want a drink? Absolutely. Now, dress like a man. On <laughs> Facebook, one of the users said, "This is horribly disappointing. Ouch. I can handle differing political views. No, you can't. No. no. I cannot handle bigotry and hate <laughs> towards <laughs> marginalized <laughs> communities. <laughs> Show me the bigotry and hate here. I I don't understand I don't, it. <clears throat> Where's the hate? And Who I, are they hating? And I'm sorry. If you have to mix in the word marginalized to yeah. make your point, you're disqualified from the conversation. Right. <laughs> Another person weighed in. Imagine being this insecure. Uh, okay. You have a month. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I, is that not the least bit ironic to you that you're calling this guy insecure when... You've had a month every month for I don't know how long. Uh, so why? And you expect everybody else on the planet to celebrate that sure with do. you? I, what are you talking about? I was surprised, though. Last night, uh, there was a, um, I don't know what how you would <clears throat> describe this individual, but obviously a, a, a pro-gay uh, ally, if you will, checking in on corporations to see if they had updated their logos for the month of June. And a surprising mm. number had not really this oh, go around. No, I those haters, those right. homophobes. Exactly. I think that was the point that. Oh, of course, that's the point she was making. Yes. Was, uh, I remember. We absolutely are behind them 100%. We just have not decided not to put that on our social media. Yeah, let me just see. You can't say that, though. You can't. I mean, that's not adequate. I'm sorry. You must put it on your social media. But here's the thing. You're not an ally unless you do. Is it because it was the weekend and no. it wasn't business hours? You will lose your check mark if oh. you change your profile. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. You use it. You, you lose it until and Yeah, you about a week. In. Yeah. Still, though. Gosh. Still. It's a good argument. Yeah, it is. It is. They might have that in their back pocket in case the yeah. uh, rainbow jihad comes Blame out. Blame Elon, right. then. Mm-hmm. Also, that would be easy to do. Also, our own U.S. Department of Defense posted <coughs> this tweet to celebrate the occasion. So they're nice. there you go. Celebrate Pride oh, good. Month uh, 2024. Oh, I feel safe. God, Don't you? Jeez, man. Uh, <laughs> and <clears throat> the National Weather Service jumped into okay. weather is apparently has a sexual preference. Well, yeah. I mean, hello. <laughs> uh, the rainbow <laughs> comes from weather. Oh, thank you. Good point, Jeff Really Fisher. good point. Really yeah. good point. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I yeah. love that they've commandeered the rainbow. Isn't the Department great? of Education uh, tweeted out mm-hmm. something about how every student should feel safe, feeling uh, attending school in America. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, and they should. I mean, I'm fine with yes. <laughs> yes, I, I want that to be the case. Yes, mm-hmm. I do. But um, anyway, we got every kind of. Uh, 
federal I personally of office doing that. Want to prov- I, I want to celebrate Navy SEALs did it. Gray Pride this oh, month. Oh, let's see. What do you mean? Yeah. Like <laughs> look at this. There you go. <laughs> we're, tired. we're old, we're tired. <laughs> Get off our lawn. Why the hate? <laughs> What do you mean? It's gray pride. What it's is gray pride. Hate. What is your deal? What do you mean? What? What's the problem? Tell yeah. people to get off your lawn. Uh-huh. Oh, that's the hate. Yeah, get off my lawn. You don't belong on my lawn. My lawn looks bad enough without you being on it. <laughs> <laughs> Those patches don't heal. No, they Jeffy. don't. They do not. Oh. Uh, but here's a little reminder to those celebrating Pride Month. Oh, okay. Just wanted to wish the <laughs> LGBTQ plus community a happy it. Pride Month. Uh, enjoy, <laughs> but don't forget to thank a straight person for your existence. <laughs> oh, wow. That what was that guy's sincere. name again? I, I don't remember. think that was sincere. Uh, except sincerely hateful. Mm. <laughs> he left off IA, too. His little yeah, beginning rant. And the two. Hurt. I think he left off two spirit. Yes, didn't he? he did. He didn't, le- he didn't have two... Plus, there was only one Q. Did he use the Q at all? Uh, he did. Play that again. Okay. I want to make sure. This guy's a hater from way back. Uh, let's Just see wanted to wish the back. LGBTQ yeah, okay. plus community. Oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. no. Completely inadequate. Yeah. Wow. Completely. He missed a Q. He missed the I, the, the A, the two. So I don't think he yeah. was sincere. Wow. He's Actually. not sincere in any way, shape, or form. No. Shouldn't have even aired it. Should not have. <laughs> I wish I would have previewed that. I would have put the kibosh on it. I'll take it off. I'm sorry. I'll take it off. Yeah, we never want to see that again. Yes, Chris. I apologize. Was that your doing? That was my doing. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Probably that guy that owns a bar in Idaho. <laughs> Probably. He's Probably. the one that sent it to me, yeah. And congratulations to the city of Philadelphia for setting a record for the number of attendees oh, cool. at a drag queen story hour over the weekend. <laughs> yep. Uh, you have the Do picture? we have the image? Yeah. Uh, 263 people. Oh, we have the image, but not the video. Okay, go ahead. Do you have it? All right. Look at that room. Packed house. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Be proud, Philly. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. It's ma'am. It is ma'am. It's just a book reading event. Oh, here we go. (laughs) Okay, is so it's some... just a book reading event. You never know when the switch is going to flip. You never know when the switch is going to flip with this guy. It's just a reading a book at libraries. Are you not supposed that? to read the kids? Like, what he does, they're not supposed to read. What he did, this reading was fundamental. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Is this a book, a book, a book reading? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. Congra- that's what I thought. Congratulations on noticing that. Are Jeff. you not supposed to read? That was a really good point. That just wasn't a book reading. Oh, that was... That's neat. That's good. That, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's what I thought. Did we have more fun uh, pride stuff? Uh, yeah, we're going to get into it in just oh, okay, a second. Cool. But first, I need to tell you about the Jace case. Uh, this is so awesome. This this case, in there's a couple of cases. There's the Jace case in case you need uh, a case. See uh, how that works? Yeah, yeah. That's good wordplay. <laughs> Five <laughs> antibiotics in this. And then you can do add-ons, too, like ivermectin, horse paste. Horse paste. Right. Oh, my gosh. Yes, you can, you can add on ivermectin. <laughs> um, ivermectin, by the way, is a is a uh, Nobel Prize winning medic- medicine uh, from, I think, 2015. Yeah. So it's pretty effective. Found on a golf course in Japan. Um, nobody who looks at our economy for more than a minute or two uh, thinks that things are getting better here. Inflation is still really high. It could easily get higher. And this has a spiraling effect. People aren't able to pay their expenses, so they're falling further behind. Consumer sentiment is at its lowest level in the past year and a half. And so, of course, look, uh, we've seen we've seen how overrun our healthcare system can be. We've seen that we've got supply shortages. We've seen that there are issues right now. That's why the Jace case is so important. A personalized emergency kit that contains essential antibiotics and medications that treat the most common and deadly bacterial infections. It provides five life-saving antibiotics for emergency use, and as I mentioned, 
Uh, also some add-ons. So all you do is fill out a form online, a doctor reviews it, make sure you're not allergic to any of the medication, and then you get it in the mail. Go to jacemedical.com, enter the promo code PAT at checkout, and get a discount on your order. Promo code PAT at J-A-S-E medical, jacemedical.com. Beware, Pat Gray is unleashed. Oh, good. The FBI is involved in uh, Pride Month, too. Um, <laughs> this is exciting. The FBI, there were FBI agents marching in a Pride Parade yesterday. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah! Wow, that, there we go. that actually fits in perfectly. So, that is... we got that going for us. The FBI in oh, rainbow okay. colors. <laughs> we sure those are actually FBI agents. <laughs> I Why don't wouldn't know. they be FBI agents? I don't know. I'm asking. I don't know. Because they're why, why would you suspect the that they're not? I just he had the FBI on his. Why are you gay? He yeah. had an FBI thing on his T-shirt. He, he was did. carrying a weapon. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. A weapon. The badge is right there in front yeah, of the, the gun. Yeah, the badge. Yep. And then the truck behind He's, it is a oh, government yeah. truck. And then there's some other FBI agents there too. It's Looks nice like, to so. see them uh, not oh. in their uh, Patriot front outfits for a change. Mm-hmm. That is true. Mm-hmm. FBI truck version. right there. Okay. Well, Swiss Our Swiss. nation has been. Uh, what jacked. what happens when the Pride Parade clashes with the Pro Hamas route? Oh, this is great. That should be fun. So this is Philly, where they yeah. set that record, and then they get to an intersection, and it's like, oh oh, is this the video I sent in? Because uh, <laughs> the video I sent in, it was like the village people. <clears throat> Pushing back on the uh, pro Hamas people, and it got ugly. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know if this. Hey, he's cute. Yeah, he's adorable. <laughs> he need a haircut or something. I don't know. Is this the only video we have from this? Uh, oh, okay. oh, here we go. Watch this. Look at this guy. He's like, hey, we're coming through. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> and then you pan over here, and we got the pro Hamas supporters. No pride in genocide. You, you gotta love the liberals eating their own thing going on. Yes. Here. No kidding. Love that. I love it. Now Hamas and gay pride yeah. should work hand in hand, shouldn't it they? Should. Because huh. I thought they were allies. <laughs> is what I thought they were. I, I saw. Hmm. I saw a meme over the weekend that showed. Palestinian flags on top of a building, and they were throwing off a uh, rainbow pride flag. And uh, oh, how dare they! And then the uh, pride flag, I think, was saying something to the effect of "I thought we were on the same side" or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh-uh. no. That, that was fun, though. That, that was, was fun. So, oh, so, thank you. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. Uh, the way the left has weaponized the Department of Justice and used lawfare to go after Donald Trump, of course, and opponents of the regime, perhaps it's time to drag people like Joe Biden or Barack Obama into court. Yes. Should we be doing that now? How about Hillary Clinton? How about Bill Clinton and his own hush money payoff to Paula nice. Jones? Anybody remember that? Yes. Yep. He paid her. Get this. Anybody remember this? $850,000 back in 1998. I mean, they made a big deal about her getting the check or attorney said, hold it up, all of it. $850,000! Here's uh, some raw footage from that time. Yeah. Show them the check. Show them the check. It's your check. check. Yeah, there's the check. Well, it's not going to be saying anything. Her attorneys are here today. So kind of officially, I think what we... And the doctor says, Palmer, why so much? He says, I have to buy a new faucet. It's $25. Well, uh, our uh, agreement had a uh, a payment of money, $700,000, plus uh, a uh, statement by the president... uh, uh, redeeming Paula Jones's reputation. And and what do you, what's your understanding of this agreement? It's a cash payment of eight hundred fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Wait, first Wait, of all, he what? said it was seven hundred thousand, right? And yes, then at the end, yeah, he says eight hundred fifty thousand dollars. 
So Weird. which one is it? Which is it? Hold on a second. I no, think he that said one... there was another agreement in there. Yeah. Uh, huh. Yeah, I forget. But there's a grand total of 850. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But, uh, yeah, but, you know, God forbid you you uh, misappropriate $130,000 in your private ledgers. Yeah, right. Your, your right. books. Yeah. But, I love the list of things that uh, that have happened. Like uh, cocaine was found at Biden's house. Mm-hmm. A dead body was found at Obama's house. A male prostitute mm-hmm. was found at Pelosi's house. An <laughs> illegal server was found at Clinton's house. Hey, so the FBI raided Trump's house. <laughs> well, when they weren't busy uh, marching in the streets Good. with rainbow flags. Yeah, right. Yeah, well. Right. Plus, the dead body wasn't exactly at his house. It was from his house, but it was in eight feet of water, right? Or three feet of water or something. I don't remember. But a it professional wasn't, swimmer. It wasn't super deep. Yeah, and a, and a guy who, swimmer. who was really a good swimmer. Yes. Accidents happen. Yeah, Accidents they do. do. Accidents happen. happen. They do, especially when somebody's beat over the head with an oar. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, wait, what? Hold on. Accidents wait, what? Happen. <laughs> when they accidentally <laughs> dive themselves to a brick. Yeah. That happens all the that time. That happens all the time. Yeah. You know, pretty soon. Did he soon, put on the cement shoes? You also? got yeah. cement over shoes on. Okay. They don't float that well. Oh, they, oh, they don't. don't? No, I don't care. You know how shallow the water is. You're, they don't float. They don't. And, and you're referring to Obama chef, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because mm-hmm. I think it's known that that mm-hmm. that chefs can't swim. I mean, that's right. True. That's just a fact. But right. they don't swim. Right. Except this guy was proven to oh, yeah. wait, be a really videos, strong swimmer. Really st- strong videos of Boy. him. Mm-hmm. But he was a strong swimmer. This time he was on a paddleboard. Yeah. Oh. And, and it complicates oh. things. He was hit over the head with a, with an oar. <laughs> and he had cement over his shoes on. But so, again, accidents happen. But again, happen. that happened. Did we check his pockets? Did he have rocks? Well, I like, didn't. I didn't check his pockets. It seems like when you're Somebody may going have. out on the old <laughs> pond... Uh huh. Maybe you leave the cement shoes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Behind, barely. That, that was news to him, yeah. though. Huh. He, he w- thought he was a strong enough swimmer that he could swim in him. Oh, he was testing himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he did have his life <laughs> vest, so thank God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He wore his I, life vest. I, I, right. Was he really wearing a life vest? I believe so. Uh, I don't think so. I'm not sure about that, but I do. You know, in the beginning, they and during that whole thing, I mean, they. The Obama said they weren't home, or it was reported they weren't home. Oh, you and know, then they turned out to be. Were. Yeah, we were home. Yeah, that's right. We were, but you know what? That's we were home. I was thinking we were, of another day. We were when downtown. He died. <laughs> we were downtown <laughs> right. getting something to drink. We weren't it's, at the house. It's mm-hmm. almost. You think you would remember where you were when someone that close to you dies? dies. Yeah, I mean they brought yeah. they brought him from the White House with them to be he, their personal chef. Right. So where were you when he died? Right. I wasn't home. I don't know. I was, well, we were we were you know we were home, but we weren't home. Which home? <laughs> oh, I mean, it's incredible. It Sorry, incredible. he was not wearing a life vest. But he, he was, was oh, writing a book. He was writing a book. He was Wait, writing. While, that's what while, they claim. While he was paddleboarding, that's yes, weird. That's, that's what they, they claim that he was writing <laughs> a tell-all yeah. book. But I, I don't think uh, when they checked his uh, laptop, it had all been wiped clean. So don't even worry about it. There was like with a wipe, it. with so a Clorox just wipe. Shut up. <laughs> Was, Is that true? was it wiped? I, I think so. Oh I, I my think they didn't gosh. have he was presumed that he did that he was writing a tell all book and then mm-hmm. the laptop that they checked, I believe, did not have any information on it. Well, I'm sure that, they'll release what they can. Right? They'll go ahead and release that, you know, just to honor his wishes. Did he not know? That the Obamas <laughs> knew the Clintons. <laughs> <laughs> no. What and the he's... Clintons have experience in these I sorts know. of matters and could have given them some advice <laughs> right. on what to do with the like guy. A Clinton body count? Is that what you're yeah. talking about? I can't wait until the Clintons are brought to justice since nobody is above the law. Right. So that's good, Yeah, too. and the Obamas. Obamas. Yeah. The Bidens. But no one is above the law. Thank you. Thank you. It's really true, isn't it? Okay. I do not like him. <laughs> I know. Breaking oh, news. man. Hey, uh... Are you going to invite? Have you already invited Hillary in for overtime? Yeah, she'll join us. Today. Oh, okay. Yep. So yep, yep, Hillary yep. on overtime. Uh, Jeffy and I are going to fill in for for uh, Glenn and uh, Stu, who is not here today either. So that's a shame, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Sorry. I know you're going to miss him. Sorry, he won't be in the building. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What? What happened? Yeah. Like, it's, like, it's, what, what severed your relationship? I'm not going to show you where he touched me, okay? Don't hold up the doll. Jeez. <laughs> oh, wow. Do not okay. hold up the doll. No, we weren't going to. Happy Pride. Did you sign an to. NDA or something like that? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Hope you got 850000 at least True. for that. True. <laughs> uh, just another isolated incident. Apparently, over the weekend, another 
two million chickens mm. burned to death at a southern Illinois plant. Oh, wow. Were um, they co- oh, oh, good wow. golly, that's a big fire. Look at that. Yes, it is. <laughs> Oh my God! Accidents happen. Just another you know? isolated do incident. Do happen. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But okay, I mean, so how many is that? That's I mean literally. That's all the chickens. Hundreds, hundreds that's of the, food no processing that's plants, all the chicken. chicken plants, uh, beef, beef plants. You name it, they Look have burned that. like that. Wow. Totally normal. Completely normal. Well, I mean, it's it normal all when if, if it's a chicken farm on <clears throat> fire, True. it's normal, right? I mean, they're all made of wood, and you're burning wow. uh, once the chicken stuff in there. Those chickens, man. Once you start them flames, on fire, along with the chicken poop, man, that stuff goes up. Flames reached yeah. as high as fifteen thousand feet. Wow, fifteen thousand. Yeah. Wow. wow! I mean, I'd be Jeez. interesting to know what that all burned. The, what it was, if it was just the poop, or if it was the chicken feed? Well, 1.2 million chickens. No, burned. I know, but but I'm just saying what caused it to be that strong. Don't forget. I don't know, see. but that's man, that's a lot of chicken. I've, I, like I've burned an egg before, and it didn't go up like that. So. <laughs> I, like, I I don't know. I don't know. Can but, I quote you on that? Yes, you can. You, <laughs> you, can. you can pretty well count on the price of chicken going up. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can pretty well count yeah. on that. So look for that at, the, at your local grocer. That's yeah, coming soon. Cool. Jeez. Well, All right. That'll help the prices. We'll be back on uh, Glenn Show, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. This is Pat Gray Unleashed.